Marta, we would like our regular table, but we want you to set it up a little fancier than normal because we're trying to impress someone. You mean Ms. Barkley? She's already here, last booth. Leslie, no, hi. I'm Jen Barkley, hi. Hi. Grab a seat. Thanks. Sorry about all these papers, I had them shipped in. I'm a news junkie. Is this in Arabic? Well, I've been reading up on you two. Ben, it's a great job on this campaign. Oh, well, thank you. And Leslie, your parks work? It's no joke. This is federal government caliber. Not to sound rude, but uh -huh. what are you doing here? You, you, this campaign seems beneath you. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Newport's daddy called me out of the blue. I'd never heard of Bobby Newport before, but it became clear in two seconds this guy is a moron. So I was like, sorry, Nick. Your son is a moron. There's no way. And he offered me a crazy amount of money. I shouldn't even tell you how much. <laughs> but I will. $250,000. Good Lord, for six weeks of work? I know. Plus, frankly, I needed a break from Washington. <laughs> Do you know Joe Biden? Mm hmm He's on my celebrity sex list. Well, he is my celebrity sex list. Oh, trust me, you can do better than Joe. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I don't think I can. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Knew I shouldn't have met you guys. Oh, I kind of hope you win. <laughs> She's just doing this for the money. She doesn't even like her own client. This could be the best case scenario for us. Well, the real best case scenario is if she just takes the money and doesn't even try. Tell me a little bit about Leslie Nope. I've heard Leslie Nope represents everything that is wrong about politics in America. She's naive, she's untested, and she's an entrenched bureaucrat that's got the stink of big government all over her. Oh, what? God. Wow, strong words from a powerful lady. So I guess we both agree Leslie Nope is wrong for Pawnee. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario. Jennifer Barkley, you two-faced carpet bagging. Hey, Leslie, good to see you. Hi, nice to see you too. You are a two-faced carpet. Do you want anything? Anything. It's on me. Everything in this town is so cheap. I would never accept anything from a two-faced carpet bag. Leslie, please let me get my insult out. I've been practicing it the whole way over here. I sense that you're angry. Tell me why. Because you stole my idea, and yours won't even work. Ramps are more practical, and they're less expensive than lifts. My idea is better. Oh, I don't doubt it. The fact is, I don't care. Ramps, lifts, your plan, my plan. I don't actually care about any of this. I'm just trying to win. Look, it's not personal. I like you. But my job is to beat you. So have a seat. I'll get you some of those waffles you love. How do you know that? It's my job to know. God, you're good. I know. Let's begin the show by starting it. Now, Leslie, you claim the Newport campaign stole one of your ideas. Well, uh, they did. They stole our idea. We were working on the Ramp Up Pawnee initiative for many weeks. Oh, purred. This is politics as usual. The fact is, Bobby Newport's plan is better for seniors, better for Pawnee. Well, our plan is more practical and it's cheaper. There she goes again, purred. <laughs> I don't know where she went the first time. Bobby Newport cares about better, not cheaper, for our seniors. And our flash poll seems to agree. Some 78% of those we surveyed prefer the Newport plan to the no plan. This is why Ned Jones has endorsed us. Let's get back on track. I just think our opposition is losing sight of what all this is about. What this is about is Pawnee, and that is what I care about. Mm. What Bobby Newport cares about is romping around on some beach in Spain with the floozy. Excuse me? Oh, maybe you hadn't heard of it. It wasn't in the New York Times or Le Monde, which is what she reads. It was in the Pawnee papers. Bobby Newport's personal life is neither here nor there. It's certainly not here. And I think Pawneeans deserve a city councilor who stays in the city, like I do. Well, we were going to keep this a secret until we had everything in writing, but Bobby Newport is trying to convince a major European company to open a factory in Pawnee. Ooh. And that woman that he is with is an anti-landmine advocate I didn't realize that you were pro-landmine. I am not here to declare a winner, but Jennifer is the winner. Thank you. Now it's time to move on to our next segment, which is a commercial. Apparently, Leslie Nope wielded her insider influence and got Councilman Pilner to save her precious department, even though it meant closing the shelter. Now, I am not saying that Leslie Nope is a dog murderer, per se. I just think that her actions raise some questions. Like, for example, is she a dog murderer? God. Well, I don't know the answer to that, Jennifer, but your tone makes me think, yes. Say your goodbyes, Pebble. Because <laughs> Wesley Nope gonna kill you. 
She got the perfect puppy for that shot. She is good. Leslie, there is a woman on the phone that says her daughter is scared to go to sleep because Leslie Nope's going to come murder her kitty. Frankly, he's a real jerk. Harsh words, but this reporter does love those t-shirt cannons. Now, Jen, what are your thoughts about all of this? This is not a time for politics. I am calling on Leslie Nope to cancel all of her campaign events out of respect for the Newport family. Anything else would be a classless move on par with spray painting nipples on the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, I talked Newport's people into giving us 10 minutes alone with Bobby. So we get in there, we apologize, and then we get back on the campaign trail. Okay, how do we leak this to the press? Do we like release a statement? Do we call somebody? Um, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Oh my God, why are there so many people here? It's a trap. It's a trap! We gotta get out of here. It's a time turn for turn solemnity around. and remembrance. This is not a time for politics. We cannot. Okay, please, oh. just, can we stop, please? And wow. Turn the bus around. Leslie Nope is driving her campaign bus through a memorial service. Back it up. Back it up. Okay, back up. Back it up. Just when we thought she couldn't stoop any lower. Oh. Go forward. Go forward. I feel like he's dying all over again. Stop it. Oh. Oh no. Sorry, are we late? So I, I hate to bring this up again, but I, I just want to make sure that I'm gonna get paid. It was a handshake agreement with Mr. Newport. It was for a lot of money. Anyway, you could wire transfer it. Anyway, sorry for your- I can't believe you turned this situation into a political sideshow. Oh, come on. You guys are only gonna apologize for the press. No way. That's, that's not us. That you is, don't know us at all. It's rude to say it. We wouldn't even think it. Yeah, that's a ridiculous claim. We brought a sorry for your loss fruit basket for Bobby, and it is very classy. No melon, no apples. You were going to use us, and we just turned the tables on you. Because I'm smarter and faster. That is not a judgment, that's just a fact. We're both just doing whatever it takes to win, right? <laughs> I love polka dots. So cute. At the 11th hour, the Newports are trying to install these voting machines at several precincts around town. Watch what happens when I vote for Bobby Newport. Good choice. Enjoy a voucher for a complimentary Sweden's candy bar. Shouldn't we be rewarding our citizens for voting? I'm never against anyone getting a candy bar, but watch what happens when you vote for me. Are you sure? Take a second and think it over. Then you have to press it again. <laughs> to cancel your vote and select someone better, press the Sweden's logo. I'm sorry, I just don't see the problem.